What is going on guys? My name is Bucky Roberts and welcome to your very first JavaScript tutorial. Now for those of you who have no idea what JavaScript is, JavaScript is basically a scripting language used to make web pages more interactive. So for example, if you have a web page and you maybe want to add a calculator to it or maybe you want to put a quiz on it or maybe you just want to have a navigation bar with some cool rollover buttons well in order to do this you need to use a special language called JavaScript and that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys but before we begin and we start typing JavaScript you guys need a couple of things first the first thing you need is a text editor now any text editor will work fine but I'm going to use one called notepad plus plus now if you don't have this you can go ahead Google download it it's actually free and it's actually the one I recommend it's the best it's awesome again notepad plus plus go ahead type that into Google and you'll be good to go another thing that you guys are gonna need is a knowledge of XHTML and that's what this is right here if you guys don't know how to create a basic web page in XHTML then you need to watch that series first I made a XHTML and CSS tutorial series before this so if you don't know how to create a basic web page go ahead and watch that it's on my youtube channel as well as on my uh, website thenewboston.com so anyways once you have those two things then welcome to the world of javascript so let's go ahead and for all you guys let's begin let me take a deep breath and get ready and let's go so like i said javascript is something that you add to web pages in order to make it more interactive so just like everything else in XHTML you need to add JavaScript through the use of tags now the tag for JavaScript is called SCRIPT script now let me mention this in the internet there are a lot of different scripts that you can add to web pages there's JavaScript actually there's like 50 different types of scripting languages JavaScript is just one of them so when our browser comes across this code we need to tell it explicitly that we're going to be working with JavaScript so in order to tell our browser that we need to give it an attribute called type and we set this equal to text slash JavaScript go ahead and end that and go ahead and add an ending script tag and in between these tags is where you're going to be typing all of your JavaScript code so that is JavaScript code it's not really but you know that's my example and in between here like I said all of our coding is going to be done so let's go ahead and actually let's write a real simple program right now um, go ahead and copy me document dot write and inside parentheses with a semicolon at the end add quotation marks and write like hey now brown cow now I know you guys don't understand what this document right why we had parentheses or why we even have a semicolon at the end but for now I just want to make sure that JavaScript is set up in your browser and you're able to run it so let's go ahead and save this and go ahead and you can press run launch in Chrome launch in IE launch it in whatever browser you want so let me go ahead and move this back and check out what we got hey now brown cow so as you can see JavaScript is working in my browser if anything like that pops up in your browser that means that well you're probably at school and they tried to block YouTube or you know something so they probably took JavaScript off your browsers but anyways um, make sure that you have JavaScript set up so if you see this that means you're good to go if you get an error message or don't see this at all that means that it's not working in your browser and you need to fix that so with that being said let me mention one more thing a lot of the older browsers like you know when they first started making the internet and web pages a lot of the browsers didn't understand JavaScript their main job was just to understand a basic HTML web page so whenever they try to read a program like this it's just gonna come across and be like whoa what the heck is this I don't know so I'm just gonna go ahead and type out what's ever in there and we want hey now brown cow to type out on our web page we don't want this whole long string of text right here so if it's you know typing out something weird or something other than hey now brown cow that may be the issue is that you have an older browser and it doesn't understand what JavaScript is 
So anyways, if you know that you're going to be making a web page using JavaScript and a lot of people with older computers are going to be looking at it, or if you know that your viewers have older browsers, you might want to add a little safety check. In order to protect against older browsers from trying to read this JavaScript, go ahead and put the greater than sign, or is that the less than sign? I think that's a less than sign. Explanation point minus minus, and when you're done with your JavaScript, go ahead and press forward slash forward slash minus minus greater than sign now whenever older browsers come across this it's gonna think that this is just a comment and it's just gonna ignore it basically so go ahead and save this and refresh and see what we get you can see that since this is a new browser it's gonna know not to ignore it and it's gonna be smart enough to know that this is indeed JavaScript but if I had an old browser it wouldn't type anything at all so that's a nice little safety check that you can use against older browsers um, it's going to work with or without it, but for the sake of this tutorial, since I know that I'm going to be using a new browser, I'm going to go ahead and delete them because, I mean, we only have so much space here, and that's just taking up space. But anyways, it's common practice, or it's good practice to include those whenever you're typing JavaScript. So I'm not, but you might want to. Personal preference. So anyways... Well, that's probably all I need to teach you guys for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're probably going to be talking about comments and variables. So anyways, go ahead and, uh, you know, just get JavaScript set up. Go ahead and include these tags and make sure that you, uh, you know, try to test out this line of code. And trust me, I know you guys don't understand what's going on right now. But now that you're set up, you're ready to move on to the next tutorial. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos. And I will see you guys, well, in the next tutorial.